Haha. Hey everybody, Mark Volk with Volkman Outdoors. Getting ready for a sprint triathlon, three of them, June, July, August. It's easy to train for the biking part, get out on the road and start riding. It's easy to train for the running part, get out on the road and start running. But how do you swim? Most people, to swim laps, you got to go to a, some kind of a, uh, a health club or something like this. Uh, there's going to be all kinds of other people in there. Half of them are going to be sick. You're going to walk away sucking up a bunch of water with boogers in it. And you're going to get sick. So what do you do? A lot of people have a pool just like this. But the idea of going three strokes over, three strokes back, three strokes over, three strokes back, pushing against the wall, that's all nonsense. What I've devised that I've been using for years is something that I'll share with you today. It starts off. Let me climb up here. It starts off with a simple braided rope with a loop on the corners tied between your ankles so that it looks like this. These tighten up, but not excessively tight. And there's about, oh, 12 feet of rope in between them. Now you could take that piece of rope, tie it onto your ladder and start pulling. But the truth is you're pulling against the rope. Bam, 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 and it doesn't work. You need something springy. So, I went out to Home Depot and I bought for about $3 one of these little Y shaped bungee cords. What do you do with it? You wrap this around your ladder, hook it back over on the eye here. Uh -huh. Hook it back over on the eye. And now, cut! Hook it back over on the eye. Funny outtakes with Mark. Hook it back over on the eye. And now you've got a bungee that when you pull against it, it gives, 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 pulls you back, gives, pull you back, gives, pull you back. And if you're feeling saucy, pull harder on the pull, pull harder on the pull, kick harder on the pull until you're exhausted and then just pull a little bit. And you'd be surprised how well this works. Now let me go down here and pick this loop up. This is easier when you have both hands. But if you look down inside there, you'll see here are my feet. And there's the bungee cord. And all I have to do is pull against it. Now, the trick when you're old to doing the swimming part of a swimming tri of a sprint triathlon, it's usually a quarter of a mile, 400 yards. Don't try to swim the crawl like everybody else that's young and flexible. You're going you're gonna to break it up just like with the poles when you're running. You're going to break it up into strokes. I know for a fact, I'm six foot tall. I know that 25 strokes puts me across the 25 meter pool from end to end. I've been doing it for so many years since I was 12 years old. I know exactly what it takes. 25 strokes, 25 meters, there I am. So 100 strokes is 100 meters. Close enough to 100 yards, you're off by 10 yards, big deal. The idea then is, I go out to the middle of the pool, I'm gonna crawl face down holding my breath. I'm gonna crawl 10 strokes. That gets me 10 meters. Then I'm gonna immediately switch to a resting breast stroke. And I'm gonna rest, why? Because I'm old, I'm just trying to finish. I'm gonna do 10 breast strokes. Then I'm gonna do 10 crawls on one breath. Then I'm gonna do 10 breast strokes. Then I'm gonna do 10 crawls on one breath. And eventually you eat up the 100 yards. And here's what it looks like when you're pulling on stuff. Let's hope that this actually, that you see me. Looks like it's still working. I didn't think I was going to do this. That's why I, I didn't set the tripod up. But here I am pulling out to the middle of the pool, nice and comfortable. And I'm going to go do, I don't know, I'll do 50 yards. So it's going to do 10 crawl, 10 breaststroke, 10 crawl, 10 breaststroke, 10 crawl, 10 breaststroke, and I'm done. Watch.
see how simple that was? That bungee cord made swimming in a 20 foot circular pool a reality. In fact, it's fun. And the fact that it stretches with every pull means you can vary the tension, vary the resistance, how hard you work. And if you need to relax, pull just a little bit. Super simple, you guys can set this up. I'll show you the pieces and I'll show you how to make the loop. I'll show you where to buy the bungee cord. And what's cool is you can take this out on the road. You can swim in any pool, at any hotel, at anybody's backyard, because this, it'll hook in, it'll strap around, it'll, it'll hook onto stuff. You can strap around a pole, anything that you need. And the rope, the rope is what keeps it from, it's nice and big and thick, it's about a half an inch, nylon multi-braided rope, super soft on your ankles, so you don't get any kind of wounds. <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed that little segment, that little tip. I hope you guys, some of you get out there and do stuff besides archery and hunting and fishing. Get out there and do things that are exercising. That are, that's a different kind of playing. It's a different kind of outdoors, but it's still a, heck of a lot of fun. This is Marvo with Voland Outdoors. <sighs> Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Watch me train for this particular event. And then you're going to be riding with me on June 25th in Verona, Wisconsin, just south of Madison, for the, uh, the Madison Triathlon, which is gonna be a quarter mile swim, 450 meters, 450 yards, something like that. An 11 mile rolling hills in Wisconsin in the Driftless region, that's gonna be a killer, followed by a 5K run. 5K is just secret code for three miles. And I can do three miles running and walking, just like I always do. My goal, finish pick up a cool bitchin' swimmer, a finisher's medal, and a new t-shirt. We'll see you out there. Cut!